All right, everybody, you guys fired up? Oh, Ready? Yes. Okay, good. So this is one of the most exciting things for me to do is to kind of reveal what we've been working on for quite some time and then ultimately get out there and test it out. So I want, this is like classroom setting here. Feel free to ask any questions. We're gonna go through it. I have a question for you guys first. What do you hear about tailor-made drivers? What's the first thing that comes to mind? Distance. Distance? Rory McElroy. Yeah. yeah. Rory, okay. Fast. fast. I would say fast and distance as well. Okay. Yeah. Speed. 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 Last year was forgiveness too. Yep. So a little bit of forgiveness coming in, but mo most of you all said speed or fast or distance. Right. And you're not wrong. I mean, that's, I think, arguably the fastest in the, in the, in the world. And we're not going to go away from that at all. In fact, I'll tell you a little bit about sort of what we've done to kind of break trade-offs from a product creation standpoint on a driver. There's sort of a, a creator's dilemma. There's opposing forces with speed and forgiveness. So if you try to create a driver that's super fast, often you can't make it as forgiving. And vice versa, you're going to make it super forgiving, you can't make it the fastest driver. You mess with CG, you move CG forward, you get, make it faster, your inertia goes down, all that kind of stuff. So that's the challenge for us. So as we look into 2024, I wanna just address the speed part because that's not gonna go away. What is one thing that we have that nobody else has that makes it fast? Carbon, Carbon, Carbon base. Yeah. You nailed it. Great class. Uh, no kidding, right? Look at us. Look at us. Oh, yeah. so when you're asking us these questions, I'm, my heart stops because I'm like, oh, <laughs> I know. Man. I just say that. Like, I don't want to call them and I don't know the answer. Yeah. Like, Same oh, feeling I had when I was you in high guys school. Are doing <laughs> what was that? What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So far, so good, boys. Oh. Yeah. They started yeah, tanks doing it. great. Nailed it, 100%. Carbon. Yeah. Carbon. 60 layer carbon phase. So if I ask you the follow up question of why, I won't do that to you. Okay. But you probably nail it anyway. The, the fact that the face is much, much lighter, you get a better energy transfer. What I mean is the heavier part where we can put the, the heavy part around the body, that you don't lose that energy. That kind of kind of goes through impact uh, during the collision and that lighter face sustains, flexes, but that all that momentum is transferred into the ball. So we're going to continue to do that next year. But one of the things that we've learned in this third generation of a carbon face is that the thing that holds the face, the ledge here, the collar, is as important as the face. What I mean is, if you make this collar super rigid, and this is super flexible, you create a stress concentration between the, the face and the collar. And so nowadays, we're seeing a lot of players with a lot of speed. What's your ball speed, Micah? 190. 190, yeah. Um, that's a cruisy one. That's well. a cruisy, yeah. 190, Thanks, right? Brother. That's it? <laughs> yeah, the way you said it, you didn't seem happy with it either. <laughs> no, like, it I mean, it, it depends on it depends on what we're doing. I, I mean, I can go high 190s if I want to. That's you awesome. can go over yeah. 200, right? Yeah. yeah. So the we're looking to bump that up for you. Insane. But also, and one of the ways we're going to do it, what we learn, it's different than any other driver out there, is that the collar has to actually be more flexible. I think, why would it be more flexible? Wouldn't that be a bad thing? No, it's actually a good thing. Think about the shocks of a car going over bumps. You want this that's flexing and rebounding to flex almost in symphony with the collar to kind of reduce the stress and create actually more speed around the face and actually even better durability for players of, of your swing speed and ball speed. So now you're getting the be benefits of both things. So a more flexible collar or flexible uh, uh, collar that ridge or ledge that holds the face is going to give you double benefit. So that's how we're going to continue to increase speed next year. So it's more flexible than the... And stealth two or yeah. stealth. Wow. Okay. And is the stealth the 60 layers? It is 60 layers. So the face is okay. pretty similar to what we had uh, in stealth two, but now on a different body that houses it with different flexibility uh, characteristics. So, and I'll, I'll pass that around so you guys. So this can is the new it. housing. Yeah. This is the new housing. These guys yeah. have a smoother relationship now. And I'm. Yeah. <laughs> they I'm have a more simpatico okay, relationship. Okay. Okay. Yes. I'm pretty colorblind, but that's that's not red, is it? It's not. So you're getting a little, you're getting a little taste, red. a little taste of the color there. So you're seeing a little bit of the blue, uh, blue hits yeah, yeah. to the new driver. You're seeing a little bit of the alignment yeah. system at Puzzle the top. Piece. Got it. What is a good color? I do like that. Yeah. So that color. contrasting line on the top, Frankie, for alignment, basically. So we're on tour, we'll fight a lot with like face angles and paint lines, and over the years we've learned from that, and now it's resulted in that. Which yeah, it looks really nice. When you put it down, yeah. you're gonna love that. Yeah. Especially with a twist face, that's a big thing to get right. 
Yeah, Absolutely. Cool. It looks really square, right? It looks, yeah. But even though it has all the contours of the face that, that so you can even see that, right? How did you guys... I can see that it's not black, yeah. But the line... You can oh, yeah, I can see, see the line. Yeah, I can see the line, yeah. How did you guys get to the point where you realized that that was the next step that you had to take? Was it going towards a carbon face and realizing that... I love the color. Yeah, so we... Yeah, we are, part. Mm -hmm. This is a beautiful color. It really does. Frankie, we're carving our own path, right? And when you're sort of at the innovation forefront, you're going to learn things that nobody else has learned at this point. And so you can see, you know, we're pushing the envelope. And at times, you know, again, with players like Mike, where you've got a ton of speed. And if you have an athlete that has a ton of speed and maybe doesn't hit it in the center every time, you're pushing the envelopes of durability and speed around those ledges. And so we started to learn that, hey, okay, we pushed it maybe too far. How do we solve that and make it even better? And so you're looking, all the engineers are going in deep, deep dive on what's happening and how do you improve it. If you're just making a titanium head and you wanted to make it more durable, you just thicken it up, stiffen it up. Right. But this is a different system. What's this pocket do right here? The speed pocket in oh, there. Okay. Yep. Pocket. Gotcha. So that you can see, you can see all the way through it right there. Right. So that kills some of the spin and provides even more speed, like that flexibility low on the face. And so again, when you you're creating forgiving drivers, you might get a lot of spin. This is one way to kill that spin. Right. Okay. So we've had that for since rocket balls, right? But we've That's improved cool. it over the years and it still works quite a bit. It's one of the coolest things, sorry to interject, Baz, but no, you know, that's part of the driver. And right. it, it, the pieces in front of him, they're so light when you get to touch and feel them. And that gives people like Baz and his team the ability to move weight around yeah. and then impact the ball flight. So when we're talking things about CG, we're looking at ball launch, spin conditions for all different types of players and different speeds. But the fact that he's got all these parts, that first piece that you picked up, isn't that the only titanium piece this on is, this? This is the only titanium left in the driver. So you guys it. are you're working wow. with like a fixed amount of weight that you're allowed to That's put right. in the head. But every time you go more carbon, he's right. got more weight to move. Got it. So you, move it around the yep. so you can be more yep. creative with it. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. Which is amazing for these guys. Yeah. That's what which, they like. Which yeah. is the perfect transition to the next so you had a question? I was just yeah. wondering, like, why isn't anybody else using a carbon face? because it's really hard to do, okay. honestly. And, and you have to invest quite a bit to get it to this stage. Mm -hmm. And, and um, when we saw sort of the limits of where titanium was, we knew that we had to, we're not gonna stop, right? We're mm -hmm. gonna keep innovating, keep going. And now that we're in our third generation and we're learning these things, we would have never learned had we not right. done it for the first time, right? I love it. Now let's, let's talk about that, that kind of weight that we've, uh, that we've kind of carved out here with the materials, because that really is, sort of the starting place to breaking that trade off between speed and forgiveness. We talked about the face, talked about the ledge, but now let's talk about what is forgiveness. You heard it a lot, inertia or moment of inertia. All right, Frankie. Mm. This is a tough question. This is the toughest oh, no. question of the day. <laughs> 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 this is all Frankie. He's Everybody let Frankie answer it. Frankie, this is you, man. I'm, 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 I know what the question's gonna be and I'm racking my brain right now. Just go yeah, ahead. Give you a second. Yep. Define for me yep. what is MOI, moment of inertia. Okay, oh so it's uh, when one moving object hits another one that's like not moving, right? It's your answer. <laughs> I, to feed it, feed it. I like that answer a question with a question. I do that all the time. Maybe so, you can phone idea. a friend on this there's, if you need some help. There's a very like famous line that you're supposed to say when you talk about inertia, and I can't think yeah, of it. That's it okay. No, yeah, it, that's okay. That's yep. okay. Phone a friend. Anybody want to chime in? No, no, no. <laughs> Dang, I don't <laughs> It's a question for Riggs, honestly. Yeah, Harvard. I mean, give it a go. Well, no, the only thing I would I would say that it, the line that I think he's trying to come up with, like an object at rest stays at rest, an object of movement. So if you're moment of inertia, I would say it's when you're transferring that to another object. So that's that's definitely that'll I'll accept that answer. Okay. okay. There's right. a rotation. It's the closest we <laughs> yeah. can get. I, mean, I, I said Grant would get some Isaac Newton. You must know this. That's the closest thing we can get over. No, here. I would I would say something just like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, would, I would I don't know like the you know the absolute definition to it. I don't know that. It got hot in here, didn't it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just puddles of sweat. Right, come on, man. So a moment of inertia definitely has a rotational element to it. Um, Trotty, want to yeah, give it to boys, him? It's the reduction to twist. So Perfect. in, in its simplicity, <laughs> yeah. right? We would never come up with that. Saying. Sort of, but in the axis at which the driver will I don't think I move, said anything. <laughs> Can we go back and, and watch it's, the clip? It's reducing the twist. It's trying not to So the to gear twist. effect. It's no. Gear effect play. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Taylor Man's like, what are we doing? <laughs> so it's a measurement of the resistance of twisting, okay. okay, of an object. In this case, we're talking about a driver. And so when you have a shot off center, it's the that object, the driver, in this case, resistance to twist on that off center shot around its axis. 
when, in the case of inertia, we talk a lot about the, the moment of inertia heel to toe. So when you hit it heel to toe off center, how is it resisting the twist? And then also high to low. And both have a massive effect. And in in, so that measurement in sort of grams per centimeter squared, I'm not going to test you on that, but mm -hmm. it's weight and the amount of weight you can push away from the center of gravity creates a higher inertia. Okay? Because yeah, yeah. gotcha. okay. we're not always hitting. It feels like physics. Right. It, it, it does. So now it let me. Let me I took physics. Yeah. <laughs> let me get it. Let me contextualize this for you. I'm going to have you look at the screen. Okay. So over the years, uh, we've been pushing the envelope of having the best driver all around, meaning the best launch conditions, forgiveness, speed, all of those things. And you have to balance the variables. And this is a great driver. And you're seeing stealth up here with the red face. This is a shot that's hit 19 millimeters on the toe. So we're going to see what happens in the inertia on this product. Total inertia, uh, both heel to toe, high to low, is right around 7,200, 7,300, right in that range. Okay. So what do you think happens when this ball is hit off center on the toe. It's gonna open. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, right. So this is at 12,500 frames a second. We're not gonna miss wow. much. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. There it goes right there. That's wow, crazy. that's quite a bit. Wow. Oh my God. That's that nuts. Is, ni is 19 millimeters like a lot? Like, is that a- No, no, that's Trent, a, I mean, you can see yeah. where it's being hit. Trent, when did yeah. you film that? I, yeah. <laughs> they brought me down here. I filmed it a couple months ago. <laughs> Rel <laughs> relatable, Trent? Yeah. Who yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, Bucky Co., who, who some of you may know, um, good player. We just asked him, hey, hit one on the toe yeah. for us and we'll measure wow. it. Wow. That's crazy. He's got that good speed. Yeah. So that'll be a 170 ish ball speed. Well, yeah. maybe not out the toe, but he's got good speed. That's and wild. Wow. It happens very quickly. You guys know the feeling in your hands? Oh, yeah. 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 Wow. Okay. So this, it, therein lies sort of the challenge for us. Wow. It's still, it's still open yeah, it's as still it leaves open. the frame. You guys are mesmerized. Well, I just didn't think it would go that much. Yeah. Adds loft, opens it's the face. What do you what too. do you think you lose in terms of performance when this happens? And it happens on every driver, by the way. But what do you think you lose performance-wise? Yards. You can lose yards. Yeah. What else? Speed. 15% Speed. of everything. I was gonna say like eight, ten percent. Yeah. I'm not saying for a number, just generally as a golfer. Uh, yeah. You know, your yeah. spin's gonna be all off and yeah. I mean, yep. accuracy, obviously. Accuracy, yeah. speed, basically everything that you want, right? <laughs> All the good stuff. All the good stuff. So therein lies the quest that we were on is, can we provide all the things that we just talked about in terms of speed and then push the envelope of MOI and forgiveness? And that set us on a journey that really, when you get to the, to the parts here, the materials are, is part of it. Using exotic lightweight materials to free up the weight, that's one thing. Second thing is we have to kind of reinvent the shape of the driver. And so we've had the same shape for the last handful of years, pretty similar. You have to completely change that shape to really go after the inertia. Now, still has to be beautiful and all the things that you want from TaylorMade. And then lastly, you gotta take that weight and that new shape, and you gotta reposition the mass into the extreme corners. So when you look at sort of all these pieces, you're gonna see kind of the weight. And I'll pass around the, all the carbon pieces here. A lot here. of carbon fiber. Wow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. baby. That is so light. Carbon fiber is just nuts. so beautiful to look at. Yeah, Obviously used in, a, in, a, in F1, a lot of different industries to really uh, maximize performance, right? So you got to think, how many wow. times did you guys have to go through pieces yeah, like this that? Is, this before? is like a feather. Mm -hmm. Going, yeah. like yeah. trying to like come up. I feel like it's, it's just light. This is shockingly light. This thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It will give them. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. It's just not really a thing. Sure. It's just, no, it's yeah. not. <laughs> For the strike, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And the speed that goes through it. Yeah, exactly. And it keeps it. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't feel very thick. That's interesting. So that, the crown that you're holding over there has six layers of carbon fiber. Dan, you're holding, that's nine, nine layers of carbon fiber for the sole. Wow. Yeah, yeah just like wild. Wild. this is. Yeah, that's The confidence to put this you don't know if you're holding it in a product and think it's going to like last is insane. And but it, it does. does. Mm -hmm. And it does. Like I, I feel this, I'm like, no chance. Yeah. Yeah. It's so light. It does, it does, it does kind of <laughs> underscore what you were saying earlier about the weight being other places though, because this is, this doesn't no. feel like anything like a golf club. Yeah. Almost like you guys <laughs> it's, like, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah. It's nothing. Yeah. 3D print wow. it. Just How can you play <laughs> golf with nothing? Mm -hmm. Isn't wow. carbon fiber like the lightest but strongest material Correct. you can Correct. use? So after, you know, titanium, you, that's where, that's why we went to that material. Yeah. Well, warming up now, Grant, you see? Yeah. You get, get MOI, you just came in with the carbon that fiber. One, that one. Yeah. I want that. I wanted that comment. That was a good one. That was a good one. And then you start concentrating the, the weight in places that are going to increase the inertia. And so here's one weight you're going to see. And one of the drivers I'm going to show you in a second, it's 32 grams of tungsten. Wow. Okay. So I'll pass Ooh. that around. Now I mean, you this, just. This weighs more than the whole everything here. 
If you think about it, you can locate that exactly where you want it. Right. That's crazy. So as so we've gone, you, you, know, you, you definitely you want the head weight to be yeah, around that's, I was, that's yeah. heavier than I was expecting. Right. So the so the actual head itself will be the similar weight, just in different right. places. That's right. Yeah. That's right. But as we've gone through generations and through time, oh, wow. like all that Taylor made wow. done, which has been amazing, has been able to locate the weight in a better position. Right. Wow. That's insane. So back in the day, early generations of drivers, they were just putting in the weight just to fit it in there. That it was, it was wherever I think, it could. I think I, I, what I learned from this, right, when I started with TaylorMade in early 2000s, <laughs> is the players on tour would find a way to manipulate the weight. Okay. And they would do it with the tools that you've seen in the past on these tour trucks. And there's a reason we're in the tour truck. And they're manipulating where they're placing weight. And then that generation of player, late 90s, early 2000s, and we touched on this a little bit before off camera, they're hitting a certain shot shape to play a tight hole because they know that a low cut heel is going to be spinny and go in play. They might not use the term spinny. They might not use the term I lost ball speed. My smash factor wasn't where it needs to be, which is everything we're touching on, but they'd hit the ferry. Today's player is more like this guy right. and just hammer it. Goes. And because the stats have advanced, this is advanced and everyone now knows you got to get down the fairway. And the further down you are, but even amateur golfers, if I take you four, like, and we compared you to U4 in the 80s. If I gave you 80s equipment, you'd be 15 yards further right. back. Right. right. So it's how do we get you forward, but also, and it's a nice transition, I think. You teed me up perfectly. Nice. <laughs> so let's look That's at. Why I'm here, guys. Since, <laughs> Bro. Thank you, guys. Since the beginning of TaylorMade in 1979 with the original Metalwood, I'm going to show you a chart right here, and you can see the inertia, the total inertia over time. Wow. And kind of highlighting a few drivers along the way. Oh, the original cow. one, working our way up from, you know, to- RBZ. Yeah, 460 cc wow. heads. Wow, one. Oh, wow. yeah. So then you, you notice too. a couple things, okay? Remember I said speed and forgiveness are opposing forces, so you have to make trade-offs along the way a mm -hmm. bit. But when you think about the, the gains in inertia over that time, like it took several years to get to a 460 cc head and that inertia gain was roughly 1500 points. And then you work your way up into rocket balls, you're starting to get into slots and things that provide speed in different ways and forgiveness in different ways, multi-material, M2, M4, SIM2, now we're changing the construction. The introduction of a carbon face it provided that better energy transfer like we talked about, a new mechanism, the inertia actually dropped a touch. Mm -hmm. But we've plateaued really over the last 10 years or so in terms of inertia, yeah. and year on year, there's no bigger gain than last year to the, what you're about to test wow. in the history of the company. Wow. You credit, and you credit that a lot with the shape? The shape's huge. Yeah, the shape, not only physically big to, to look forgiving, yeah. but when I said it's grams per centimeter squared, every millimeter you can move the weight out increases the inertia dramatically. So it's one to free up the weight, to have all the material to do it, and then to have that shape to your point, Dan, and to push that weight to the, to the extreme. So we could provide now 10,000 inertia, 10 K. So you're gonna see 10 K a lot. Okay. Wow. Um, and game. then it's a thing. But yeah. to gain perspective, like look down the left and then pick one of these drivers that you might remember mm -hmm. and you'll get a feel for the game. Yeah. And that's yeah. the best thing about being involved with TaylorMade. Like, it's the gains every year. And you made a comment about stealth, but it was gaining elsewhere. In order yeah. to, we had to go there to get to where we're gonna, gonna go now. Right. right, you know what I mean? Right. Every one of you at this table are going to be able to feel it. You're gonna be able to see it. Let's go. We all experience it, it gives you a little goose, it gives me a goose. Uh, I'm yeah. really excited yeah. to hit it. <laughs> so let's let's go back to the high-speed camera and show you what a driver in 10, with 10,000 inertia provides you guys wow. are down get ready like a same strike that video. same yeah, strike i know 19 millimeters on the toe uh, looks even better. Twelve thousand five hundred frames a second high was... definition wow come I on mean, <laughs> it looks yeah. dead straight even though it was hit off the toe that was pretty pure no that's pretty cool Wow. It opens just It opens a tiny little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Little bit. That's and it turns back almost. Yeah, it has to be. Who, who do you think can benefit from that? Oh my gosh. All the everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. even the best players in the world don't always hit it right. I mean, that's right. night and day difference this from side yeah. stealth, for sure. Right. And let's touch on that. Best players in the world, like if you ask them, they'll probably say they hit the middle once in a driver. Yeah. In a, in a tournament round. Think about if Colin is only hitting the middle once in a round of golf in his own mm -hmm. mitigation, then where are we at? Mm -hmm. right. And that's why you rethink which model, where do I go? Because that is 
something that we can all see and we don't want to leave behind. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we talked about what you wow. can lose from not having the nurses. Now think about what you can gain. Mm -hmm. Ball speed, accuracy, you know, just that consistency, consistency and spin. Everything that golfers can benefit from, from all levels, to your point, Shadi. If you get sure. the ball in play, you can play. It's when the ball is off the mat, there's no, you can't, you can't score. Mm -hmm. right. It's got to be in play, but it's got to be advanced. It's got to right. have everything we want and more. Right. Is the weight moved specifically to a certain location in sure. the driver? Yeah, or is it like? Everywhere. It's not everywhere, but mm -hmm. yes, there's certain places that really give you the benefit the most. Down and back. Okay, but down and back's important, but you still want to keep the aerodynamic. So you, you saw it in sim where the crown stayed high. Mm -hmm. That's still important to make it mm -hmm. fast, but to, to concentrate the mass low and back, you get both the forgiveness this way and this way. Now, also, even in the high toe or in the hosel, that's, again, you're trying to get as far away as possible. And so those are the spots you want to put the extra mm -hmm. weight. How much, does the, how much does the shaft affect inertia? Um, it did, there's an overall club inertia, mm -hmm. but uh, what we're talking about is just simply head right. inertia. Okay. Um, so the shaft, you know, when you're getting into fitting applications mm -hmm. and so on and so forth, and whether you want to, because the weight's a little further back on this mm -hmm. model, you know, you start to mess with some tip stiffness and things like that and torque to change the things. But, but otherwise, um, you know, the head's doing the heavy lifting. Yeah. That's amazing. So if you look at them side by side, so I'll show you again one more time, side by side. Just one shot here. That's the per is that the same exact same location? exact location. Oh yeah, that's, my that's god. Crazy. That one's still opening. Wow. Was, it was opening the whole way out of the screen. Yeah. Wow. Dramatic, right? Yeah. That's nuts, man. Looks like the ball's on just like a little bit of a better. Yeah, and it seems yeah. like the first one, like it's actually almost going more right, and the other one's like still yeah. straight, yeah. the ball. So you have to try to counteract that with bulge and roll and the curvature of the face. And we do that, but the accuracy you gain by keeping that head that stable. We're talking about forgiveness being more than just a feeling now. There's a number you can put behind it, but ultimately that's what you're going to experience, right? It's wow, traumatic. It's amazing. All right. So let's now, you know, you think about this quest that we've been on, both with speed and now forgiveness and 10,000 inertia comes a new name, right? And you guys have probably seen it a little bit leak out just recently, but this idea that we're on a quest, you can look at the screen if you like, wow. quest for 10,000 inertia, that's where the queue I that's 10 comes in. Okay, that makes that's sense. Cool. Okay. QI 10. QI 10. QI 10. QI 10. I got the chills a little bit right yeah. there. Yeah, me too. You did. That felt good. Yeah, I did you, you would never know that that's You have an all the emotions. You've gone from hot, now yeah, you yeah, get yeah. the chills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait till you hit this thing. That was hard on the sleeve. <laughs> yeah, I haven't even hit it yet. So, so we do have yeah. three heads. I haven't even seen it yet, Riggs. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what it looks like. I've seen pieces wow. of it. So I want you to look at it now. Each one, there's some, there's three heads that we've made, drivers, a QI 10 Max, a QI 10, and a QI 10 LS. And so there's a few mixed in Whoa. here. Go wow. Whoa. Oh, baby. We get to look at this thing? Oh my gosh. This is a huge moment. Whoa. Oh my gosh. I you guys it. gave me the lefty one too. That's special. <laughs> <laughs> back to the shinier, wow. back to the shinier uh, top, huh? Correct. Oh yeah. Gosh. Woo, baby. You yeah, can see nice. yourself in this thing. Yeah, yeah. I, know. I mean. Oh, my hat barely fit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How do I look? Wow, guys, that you nailed insane. it. Yeah, that's, that's incredible. Job. This is the stealth fantastic. was so was that so is... revolutionary and so different, mm -hmm. and the fact that you guys have like Still come out again? with something and I loved it so much. Right, and so like there was I was just I was You've just hoping that, yeah. It, right. So like seeing this and, and how it looks is yeah. We don't want to lose the amazing. carbon face. This look is so clean. Yeah, you know, clean. like there was a risk with the stealth. It was red. Mm -hmm. It was shiny. It was different. It was carbon looking. This is a clean, clean look. Right. Mm -hmm. So this, this is, is the big shape difference. Is this, this kind of is, is this thing right so here? So in the max, you'll see that it's extended that's, about eight millimeters. Oh, Trent, you're holding the, the max smaller. there. This is the more forgiving yep. one. So this if you set it down, you'll see a different footprint. Oh, this is compared to the you put them next to each other. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. This one's yours huge. is smaller. Yeah, yeah. 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 I see. I might yeah. just take the bigger one. LS low spin. Why would I? Low spin. Exactly. I thought you'd say that. Yeah, because I've gone with more forgiving irons. Why not just go with more? The LS is the more improvement. It's like you're playing so, the best golf of your life. A couple things on the, on the LS. I love it. I don't know. Look at the comparison. You see the aerodynamic kind of sole oh, wow. that goes over the, the sliding so weight. Mm -hmm. 18 yeah, grams of yeah, slide. You can see it right there. away. Pop this oh, you got the LS. And yeah. then we've lowered the center of gravity in that one as well. So for, it's got a real hot trajectory, low, low trajectory. Oh, yeah. You also notice the crown. We call it an infinity crown. So the carbon goes all the way around the edges. That mm -hmm. makes that clean look that everybody was talking about. So mm -hmm. cool. yeah, um, so sick. And then you have that little alignment feature on the face. It's beautiful. It is funny to think, like when you held the weight, how heavy it is, and yeah. how far you guys put it as far back there as you can. Exactly. <laughs> it's great. Exactly. Is that the max rig? Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Sexy. 
<laughs> did you it pick weird. out like Charlie? Did you? I, I, no, no, it was already picked out. But I, okay. I thought you would go with it. Rigs for sure, for sure. I've always used the. You uh, like me with the sure. LS? I do, yeah. Love Based that. on what you said the other day, there was a podcast or something I heard about not hitting the middle. Now you don't know. Now you don't know. Like, like, wrong show. Total hook is my miss right now. That's real talent. Wrong show. Well, and you just. Leaving here strong. I'm, why, why, can we go hit this thing or what? Yeah. Like, I mean, Absolutely. Riggs, you ready? I'm excited, man. Yeah, you are? I'm excited. This thing looks so good. It's nuts. Awesome. I can't imagine if it's faster. You're about to find out? And more fierce. I just well, love that it's so light, but like evenly distributed. That's what I love about it. Mm -hmm. Where's your hat out with the max? Because oh, I, I think it. we got opportunity to make I, I mean, a I love options. the way this is primed. Mm -hmm. I don't know what we said. Yeah. Wow. And yourself? Where are you? But. I mean, I, I kind of like the regular. I mean, I love the Max, but I just think that, I, I don't know. I, I'm going to try them both. I love it. Everybody has to try the Max. I've got you, zero you, ego, you whatever that works yeah. better, I'm using. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that's, that's, I mean, I'll do that. Yeah, that yeah. Better, yeah. No, no, no. Because if, nice. if you start flushing no, no. the big one, you're going to start yeah. to like the look of exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot of pressure today. I know. It's a lot of him. He's a tall guy. I heard 200 today. I mean, like, yeah. We need, we need No, what's cool about him is like we all swing it at a certain speed, but then he's like in the point. What five percent of oh, the golfers? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Even less maybe less than that. Yeah. 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 You'd be like it's one of the longest right? guys on tour. Guy yeah. I've been around. Yeah. Sure. Won't be stretched yeah. this morning. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's all eyes are on. Yeah, yeah. No one cares about no, no, us. No, no, you no. Know? Yeah. So the three heads you have the you, Max, the QI10, which is a bigger shape too, about halfway, four millimeters. Got more inertia as well, lower CG, and then the LS, the low spin one. So it'll be fun. Fun to, for you guys to test them. And you have that moving Wait, so weight. The where's front the, front the LS, Micah? Yeah. So no moving weight. He's got a lefty LS. Well, let me see that one. Fire that oh, okay. for you. So yeah, that's there's, what's almost at the bottom of that one. Oh, I gotcha. That's different. There's LS yeah. and then Max and then what else? LS Max and what else? And the just the QI the normal. This yeah. is the normal Q, one. Yeah. Or the, well, like the max is going to become the normal one, to be honest. Like, you think I mean, so? I 100% yeah, believe yeah, that. Yeah. How it's, can it not? Oh, you think it's tested? Yeah, right? yeah. Mm -hmm. right. yep. It's just bigger, Which is right? why these products are amazing, because yep. they're designed now, learning from the tour, <laughs> but for well, us. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. That's right. what's amazing about this. So what's the difference between the max and the normal one? So size-wise, it gets a little bit smaller. This one's going to spin just, the QI-10 is going to spin just a touch less. Okay. And then inertia is just a little bit lower as well. Okay. Gotcha. This one's got the most like straight in it. Like the straightest driver that we've created is in this max. Oh, I, I, love guess, that. I love the sound of that one. That's so exciting. <laughs> Come on. And then the LS, that, this is, right. like, yeah. that's the one you call This is right. what Roy's using. The LS. Yeah. So we used the LS and, and Tommy Fleetwood, who just finished second, first, yep. first uh, tournament out with the LS. Yep. Wow. Low, low spin. Low spin. Kind of yep. cool that they put right, it right in the bag. Right, right in the bag for Dubai. Oh, yeah. 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 Awesome. Well, that shows you a lot. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. They can be tricky, those guys. So yeah. That shows yeah. you a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Are they messing with this weight at all? I believe they have. Yeah. They? yeah for Everyone's sure. dialed yeah. it in. Yep. Wow. All right. Let's go have some fun on the race. Let's do it. Yeah, Great awesome. job, guys. That that awesome. Awesome. I'm that taking this home. I'm that. shoving this in my. Should we leave these? We are they, are they, you can leave them here. Using? No, no, we have. Oh, okay. We have okay. okay. Yeah, so, so yeah. Is all over and then ours is set up. Oh my god! Just look at this. That's all right. Nuts. So we want you to just go out and experience it. We're not going to go deep on the fitting right now. We just want you to get get your reactions. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's exciting. Thank you. Appreciate it. I feel being a lefty. You're going to see. It's bizarre.